Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. It is somewhat acrylic pouring, it is somewhat acrylic painting and it's some kind of abstract. And I will show you the result right away and this is what we are going to do today. It looks honestly complicated, does it? But it is really easy, it is super fun and super quickly done actually. So if you want to learn how you can do this on your own and how you can even improve this by doing it more controlled, just have a look at this video and I will show you everything that I did, how you can do it, different ways of approaching it and making someone happy, I hope. So enjoy watching and until later, bye! And here you can see what we are going to use. Of course you will need some kind of surface. If it's a canvas, if it's an MDF board, if it's a wooden board, if it's plastic, if it's whatsoever, just take something that you can use as a surface. Here in my case it is just a canvas I was experimenting on, which totally failed. <laughs> so it looks messy, normally I would use a blank canvas, but in this time here it's just a messy one. And you of course will need some colors, and you can go crazy there, believe me. You can use whatever colors, how many colors, as you like. The only thing that I would recommend using is some vibrant colors. So some colors with a high contrast and highly pigmented and not so dull colors. So go for vibrancy here. Other than that you can use whatever color you would like to use. Best perhaps acrylics as they dry quicker, so I wouldn't go for oils here. And it would cause issues later anyways. So go for acrylics or something like that. And just pick the colors that you would like to use. They actually do not even need to fit together color wise. Just use whatever you feel up to. You will also need dishwashing soap, which we will come to later. And you will need some kind of black spray paint or dark spray paint. In my case here I used again my airbrush. In case you do not have an airbrush, get an acrylic spray bottle. So like these aerosol cans that you can get almost in every hardware store, art store or probably already in your garage. So just pick one of those. It doesn't have to be black but it should be a somewhat darkish color. Again for contrast reasons. When all the basics are done and we've decided for the surface that you are working on, of the size we are working on and the colors that we are going to use, we can start painting. And this is just going crazy. You just pick the colors that you've chosen and spread them on the canvas. Use a brush, use a sponge, use your hands, whatever you would like to use. In this case here it is not so much acrylic pouring, so you need way way less color than we would normally use for an acrylic pouring. This is more like somewhat painting or so. So just use a brush and paint your colors on. In this case here you can see what colors I have chosen. It is quite colorful and nothing I would go for in a regular dirty pour or something. But as we are painting here you can set the colors where you want them to be. I blended them into each other as this probably looks smoother in the very end. I have not tried it by not blending them, having sharp edges. Might look cool as well. I don't know, if you opt for this version just let me know how it looks or share your results on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. If you use Twitter, I don't really use so much of it. So if you like, share me your result, what you came up with. Yeah, I used a brush to blend the colors into each other just to have a smooth transition and let it dry. And once this was done and everything was dried, the fun part was about to begin. <laughs> so actually when it comes to the fun part you will need some dishwashing soap or something similar like that. You can use it directly from this crazy bottle they actually come with especially here, so I guess you will have these little squeeze puddles as well in the US or wherever you are in the world. I was not really sure if the... Oh, how, how to call it? The dishwashing soap stream coming out of it? I don't know how to say it. So I thought this stream of dishwashing soap will be too thick to use it here. So I decided to use one of those triangle-ish buttercream cake decoration plastic bags. I'm pretty sure they do have a name. I don't even know the German name. So you can see what I use here. And I have put some of the dishwashing soap into it. The reason behind my idea, I just wanted to seal this plastic bag and cut off a very tiny small edge in the front of the bag so that I can control how much of the dishwashing soap is actually flowing out. Which did not have so much of an effect. So it worked, of course, but 
the line that I was going to get was not as thin as I thought I would get. So I just used the amount up that I had in there and then decided to grab the squeeze bottle anyways. And it worked perfectly. So there is no need to bother getting up some of these plastic bags or any alternatives. The squeeze bottle worked just perfectly. Just don't squeeze hard on it. Turn it around and let it flow out of it naturally. And it worked really great. And you just go crazy over the surface. You can use whatever shape, pattern, amount, whatever you would like. Don't use too little of it when it comes to making the lines, as this is going to create the colorful part in the very end. When I was doing this, I often thought about stopping right away because there was so much on it already. But when I had a second look on it and thought, okay, if the rest amount is covered in black paint in the end, and only these lines are colorful, Ah, just add more, add more. It was quite a lot that I added. Up, up to you how much you want to try. So, but you can really go crazy. When everything is done and everything was applied, there is actually no drying time. As this stuff is not going to dry at all. It is also not going to soak into your fabric. So if your first layer of um, acrylic paint is a solid one and not only scratched onto the surface, so if there's a really decent amount of acrylic paint underneath that the canvas itself is sealed, it will also not soak into your canvas. And it spreads out a bit. So it is going to move. It is not rock solid hard line that you are actually yeah, pouring on there. It is going to move a bit, but not that much. And yeah, once this was done, it was just time to cover everything up with the dark paint. Again, I'm using my airbrush here and I just mixed a black acrylic paint. As a recommendation, use a very pigmented one. Use an airbrush paint if you have, or if you have acrylic paints that you want to thin down to use in your airbrush, just use the one with a very high pigmentation. I, for this one here, took the Black 2.0, which I have tested weeks earlier in, an, in another video. And this is the, it is said, most highly pigmented black out there. So it was pretty fine for me to use as this will have a really cool coverage of black paint. If you don't have an airbrush, no problem. Just use one of those aerosol cans that you can get in a very dark color, a dark blue, a dark black, a dark red, whatever you want to use for it and spray over it. Just as a side note, don't go too close. You're going to push away the soap. So this is something you would probably want to avoid. So have a bit of a distance and give it a good coverage. Perhaps also let it dry and make another coat over it. You really want to have this solid dark color covered everything. This is just for contrast reasons. If we have a too thin coat and the acrylic paint underneath is still shimmering through, this is not going to look as vibrant in the very end. And you have to keep in mind that you will have to rinse everything with water once everything is dried. And you really do not want to have any of the colors come off. So I think I used about two or three coats of my acrylic paint. So I sprayed it on there, let it dry, spread another coat on there, let it dry and so on and so on. When everything was done, I realized that it looked like as if my dishwashing soap was completely soaked into the fabric, which I did not expect and hoped not to happen. And I was a bit worried that everything was going to fail because if the soap was soaked into, I really did not expect the black to come off. Because the goal actually was that the acrylic paint dries on top of the acrylic paint and it stays liquid where the dishwashing soap is. This is the entire background idea behind this project. But anyways, it was done and next step was bringing it to my bathroom. So come on to our bathroom and join us in our bathtub. <laughs> Yeah, I just put it in there because for me, this is the easiest version of putting water over this. And if you have any other alternatives, just use them. I just thought it was genuine because I have my, my shower there so I can rinse it with water. And as it is soap, it is just going into the sink and it's, it's okay. It was just rinsing with water. So I just activated the shower and put the water over it just to get rid of the dishwashing soap and the black paint sitting onto it. I was pretty happy when I've seen that everything worked as planned and it took a little while until everything was, was off, as you can see here. But it already looked pretty amazing. I did have some of the black paint on top of the acrylic paints. Yeah, not, not really flake off, but 
washing off as well, so I did not really have clean edges, but it was pretty cool in the very end. So I let everything dry naturally, so I did not use a towel or something to, to wipe it dry, as I did not want to remove any more of the black pigment. So I let it dry on air, and then I just grabbed smaller brush and the black paint again to just make smaller corrections. So I did have some areas where the black was not as solid as I wanted it and it looks a bit translucent towards the acrylic paint underneath and I just thought it might look cooler if there was a solid black to have more contrast and so on and so on and so on. So yeah, this was just some cheating what I did. Probably it would have worked better if you have acrylic spray paint because this is going to form a more solid surface than my acrylic spray paint mixture thing he did here because this was not really meant to be used for yeah an airbrush. It was just some kind of self-made version. Yeah, if you're going to use an aerosol can, just let me know how it works and I will probably use this kind of stuff next time as well. So, and in the very end, I'm going to show you what you can do to make it more well controlled and to create something pretty as well. You might have seen the video last Christmas when I did my Christmas decoration scratch cards, probably. If you don't have seen the video, good. It was not one of my best. <laughs> it was a nice idea though, but here you can do something quite similar. The beginning part is just the very same. You just use a canvas or a surface of your choice and paint it colorful. And then you have the alternative to write something. And the best working thing for me was using masking fluid. I did try to use the same method by using the dishwashing soap in the very beginning and just make yeah, lines like writing again with this um, squeeze plastic bag thingy, um, it really did not work as well. So I cannot really control the dishwashing soap to stay where it was supposed to stay, to make a solid line and to not flow and spread. It really did not work. So I washed it off and opted for my masking fluid because this is something I can control, I can paint with. It just sounded genuine to use. So I just grabbed the brush and painted whatever I wanted to paint on the surface. If you use the masking fluid, I would recommend using two or three coats or at least one thick coat, just to not run into issues when you peel everything off. And that was basically it. In case you do not know masking fluid, this is a liquid that is going to dry and form some kind of gummy texture. It will stick together. So it will dry on your surface and once everything is dried and your project is finished, you can peel it off quite easily. This is actually meant for watercolors, so you can protect certain areas against the color. And you can basically just protect your surface, your paper or whatever you're painting on, paint over it and then just peel it off. Just as a side note, if you use this and put heavy acrylics over it, so really a thick load of acrylics which is drying in a thick coat, you will probably run into issues because this stuff is going to rip your acrylics apart and probably is not strong enough so you might run into issues if there is a thick coat over it. But if it's just a spray paint or watercolors or whatsoever, you're really good. This stuff is awesome. I've also used it for oil paints at some times. But when you use oil colors over it, it in a way reacts weirdly with it. So if you use it for oil colors to protect areas, make an even thicker coat of it just to have it solid. I had a too thin coat and it ran some kind of gooey, not really sticking together. It was a bit weird. So yeah, just make a thick coat if you use it with oil colors. Yeah, when everything was dried and covered with paint, I just peeled it off and here is the result. <laughs> it looks kind of nice. It's a kind of cute gift or something to do with your children perhaps in the next kid's birthday something <laughs> so you can keep them occupied and let the creative energy flow. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I really think this was a fun project and something very simple to, to recreate. So show me your results again on Facebook or Instagram if you would like to. And if this was one of the first videos of mine that you've seen, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it, share it with your friends and family on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, of course, wherever you want to help my channel grow. It, it will really mean a lot to me. If you have any questions, please leave me in the comment box below. If you want to see more of my videos, please, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for the notifications. You know how it works. 
And also if you're interested what I've used, I've listed all my materials in the description box below as I do in every video along with my Etsy shop and my social media. Everything is there. So thank you for your time, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next videos. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye.